And now, Splunk Cybersecurity 60 Second Charity Challenge. Remember the rules. You've got to get through an entire subject in 60 seconds or you donate to today's charity of choice. Good luck. Well, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, do we have a timer? No, I but I can like I can hold my my phone up if you want to do no, it that I, way. I got the timer. I know how to do it. We're good. Wait, do you? Oh, oh, I'll have a backup. Do, do just you... in... yep. Okay, just in case. Apparently, I, have I know this. how to do a timer. Not just just can't figure out how to do it simultaneously. Yeah. So... Do you want me to just do this because you can easily see when it hits sixty? Let's see. Does there, that work? Well, we'll figure it out. There we go. Um, Audra, I'm going to try to work on something here. Why don't you talk about what we're doing today? Oh, we have to do the charity. We were just what? reminded in the chat. We can't ever remember to name the charity first. Oh, yeah. What thank is you. Charity? Thank you, LinkedIn user, because that's yes, what I see. Yes, thank you for reminding LinkedIn us. User 37. <laughs> because we always forget. Um, so our charity this week is Trans Lifeline, which is a national trans-led organization dedicated to improving the quality of trans lives by responding to the critical needs in their community and... Um, with advocacy and education. So that is the charity that we are donating to this week. And the topic, uh, which I think I'm really interested to hear what you both have to say about this. Uh, so there was a, a Guardian article, which I will share as well, uh, which quotes the Australian prime minister saying that um, residents there should turn off their phone every night for five minutes uh, as a cybersecurity measure. And so the, the, I guess the thought behind this is that if you reboot your phone periodically, it could forcibly close applications and processes that could be monitoring you or collecting your data. Um, but I guess my, my question for the challenge is if you think that that's necessary or is that an overkill for cybersecurity? Are there better things people can do for securing their mobile devices? What's your take on that advice? Is it good advice? Um, so with that, should I get the timer ready uh, just in case over here? Yeah, I can't figure it out this fast. Like I said, <clears> with, uh, without a producer, we're pretty much just down to basics. So hopefully, Laura, Laura, you'll be you'll be OK with the chaos once again. Um, yes. Nick, as a continual loser, but more importantly, your boss, I'm going to say, why don't you go first today? And maybe before we get started, we'll let everyone know that they can help us vote because I don't want to take the brunt of Ryan's wrath when he doesn't win. <laughs> if he he has a chance, he might win. But he has just, a chance. Oh, I don't want it to be on me. <laughs> I love I love the pity vote there. Thank you, Audra. Just, uh, lovely. So, anyway, so, yep. All vote right. for who is who has the You're best. On, are you are you just soliloquizing without noise there, Mick? Or. <laughs> We, we can't hear you. Oh, I'm. Oh. There you go. Now you're back. Okay, is that better? Uh, do you, yeah, do you right. normally have a producer in your house too? This is fun. Okay. The cat. So same, same. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Are you ready? Audra, hit it. Okay. So as President Biden once said, as one computer said, if you're on the train and they say portal bridge, you know you better make other plans. So. Compared to that, I really appreciate the Australian Prime Minister's comments. Uh, very succinct, very clear. So I think more than that, just rebooting your phone and keeping it off for five minutes, it should be just a minute, doesn't matter. Develop a whole cyber routine. Uh, so let me throw in a bunch of Australian references. So it is a true blue Aussie responsibility. And the private sector, just like your footy team, has to step up. Uh, so turn your phone off for five minutes, reboot it during the day, brush your teeth, secure your digital life. It's going to be doing the same thing. Updates, privacy setting, dodgy emails. Uh, keep your computers clean from infection like a koala in a sanctuary. So spread the word, fight cybercrime together, uh, raise your stubbies, and protect those digital shores. So password strong, may the cyber gods be with you. That's pretty much the reason why you should keep it. It's just a good habit to get into. He's two seconds over, loses by default. I don't even have to I go. can't see the timer. That's okay. You, you should have just known. Right. Is it backward or can you read it on your end? I mean, it's Australian. So it's, I can't, it counts it. down. <laughs> All right, Ryan, are you ready? This, this is not going to go well, as I said, however, I'm going to do the best I can. Okay. So when I look at these words from the prime minister, there's a couple things that I think are very confusing for the general populace. One, he's describing how to personally secure your mobile device by using a threat model of turning it off for five minutes. Now, the reason I can assume that he's saying doing that without really digging into any of the classified reporting, et cetera, is a concept of malware or other sort of things happening on your computer 
on your phone that needs to be completely shut down so it goes out of any onboard memory. Just like they always say, you know, turn off your router for a couple minutes because you have capacitors that are keeping the power going, keeping the memory, the processing, all that sort of stuff. So I find it a little confusing. I think it really comes down to what is your personal threat model when you're looking at your mobile phone for security? In this case, he's, well, you're blowing my mind, Audra. In this case, what I'm saying is by turning your phone off, you're not going to have this malware or it's going to reduce the threat. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think there's probably other opportunities, but it is a very low cost, low effort way to possibly increase your security. But I think just as we're talking about it and a little bit mocking today, it's going to cause more confusion than help. <laughs> awesome. Perfect timing. You saw my Twitter notifications. I thank God it was just Twitter, not him. <laughs> No. There you go. All right. With that in mind, who wants to weigh in on? I don't know. We're not getting the winner. Of, uh, you can just type a name in the chat so that I don't have to. Type a name that starts with R, ends with N, starts yeah. with K, ends with R. Nothing. <laughs> not getting a lot of here. It's um. I mean, we do have a delay as always, but we'll exactly. wait yeah. patiently. Or it's just have to, have to Audra, take it all Audra, in. What are your you thoughts? Know, there's a lot of Australian the, references. Audra, let's let's go in. Audra, you're the one who tends to care much more about personal, um, personal privacy. Um, what were your thoughts on this, Larry? You don't count. You obviously voted for Mick. I yeah, think. because I had a President <laughs> Biden Ryan, vote there. Who didn't know what President Biden said about computers? I got a pity vote there. Ryan was within time. It's not a pity not vote. Quality of a uh, not quality, just um, you know. There you go. Oh, Dario has the great advice. Uh, I just said, keeping every your month. phone off for five minutes, it's probably just to keep his kids off their phone for five minutes. Oh, thanks, Gabby. That's Charlie in the back taking a nice nap <laughs> while we just talk. Um, like the persistence thing I'm trying to understand in this context because malware that establishes persistence will be clean in a reboot. Five minutes off wouldn't matter. And the malware that can survive that reboot would survive that five minutes. Would you say that malware would be an advanced and persistent threat to your phone? And then that's where you bring the question of threat modeling. Because who is an APT targeting you? I mean, you have, those the folks have, don't have that level of malware. Yeah. I mean, Do you have reason to believe you're being targeted by I mean, advanced adversaries? Definitely not a Western state that would have that capability. I tell you that. <laughs> I mean, NSO group, like this would not have stopped their work. You right. said NSA group? What NSO, NSO. But the Apple... The Apple updates do, so that's why it's important to always update your phone, right? When you have the the updates to stay on go. top so, of those. I mean, right now, Audra, you're gonna have to pick. It's split between my. I was within time, so technically I won. I, and... Gosh, this is so hard because I think Mix was really hilarious. Like koala references. Like I don't know how you come up with this stuff, but it's really funny. Well, but I, I also. <laughs> I'm going to go with Ryan this week, and it's not a pity vote. It's 100% a pity vote. <laughs> it's not a pity vote. I, just, I, I, I think you both have great points, and it was a very oh, close just... call. Um, yes. But I, I do think that cycling your phone, like what Dario said, it doesn't hurt. It might be something to just make a habit of doing every now and then, but I don't think it's like I think it's the most important thing for security. Um, yep. Dario also voted for Ryan, so now you know it's not a pity vote. You have there we people go. that are voting for you. <laughs> so wow, Lara though just doesn't count as all. All right, Blystone yeah. just gets no <laughs> love from her coworkers. They're like, "Oh, you work here. Your vote doesn't count." I see how it, it is. No, she doesn't work here, Mick. She's one of the many thousands of people who watch this every week who just tunes in <laughs> for our incredibleness and sometimes your humor. That's you know sometimes yeah. sometimes. Man. Yeah, when you all prepare right. and write a script, you can be very funny. Okay, we're Thank already you, 45 minutes in, ah, so we okay. need to move on to our Thank deep dive. Thank God. See, this is what happens when we don't have a producer in the background. Yes. 